In this video, you will see how to import data from a different Google Sheet. You see here, we have two different Google Sheets. This one is import data and this one is sample data. On the sample data Google Sheet, we have two different worksheets. One is insurance and another is players. So what I want to do, I want to import some data from this Google Sheet to this Google Sheet. For that, I need to use the import range function. Let's see how it works. I'll select the import range functions and here I need to put the URL of the other Google Sheet. Here I will just copy the URL and paste it here inside quotation. Now I need to declare the range for which range I want to import the data. So I want to import data from A1 to D. 17 okay also i need to put the range within quotations a1 to d10 d17 okay for the first time when you are importing some data from a different google sheet you need to allow access okay a1 to d17 here, one thing you have noticed that I have two different worksheets, but I haven't mentioned any worksheet name here. So what it did, it just imported the data from the first worksheet it found. So what if we want to import the data from a different worksheet? In that case, we need to mention the worksheet name here. I'll just mention players. Is that player? Okay, it is players. and. I need to end it with the exclamatory sign and press enter. Now I am receiving the data from this players worksheet and if I change the name of the worksheet here, it will import the data from the first worksheet that is the insurance worksheet. Okay. Let's make it F17. Instead of D17, I'll make it F17. Okay. What if I want to keep this Google Sheet updated whenever I add some new data here? In that case, I just need to increase the range. So maybe I want to uh, increase the range up to F50, right? Now, whenever I add some new data here, like five, I'll see it here within a moment. How much time it takes to refresh it? So when you are entering something here you have noticed after leaving this cell it will start saving the data when i click outside you see saving so when you see save to drive instantly you can see the updated data here one thing you have to note that when you mention a bigger range you cannot write anything here like you see here i have mentioned f50 up to 50 here f50 f50 here right so if i write something in between on this worksheet like hello or anything it will delete the formula right because the area it needs is not clear so i'll undo that that's it one more thing instead of writing the formula here you can copy the formula and put it somewhere else like if i put the formula here on J2 and instead of writing the whole formula here, I can just mention here J2. When I'm putting the formula uh, inside a cell, I don't need to put the quotation marks between them. Okay. Now you see J2. So sometimes when you need to update the Google sheet, you just need to replace this URL what if we want to import data from a different account like you see i have a different account here this is a completely different account i want to import the data from this worksheet to our worksheet we are working on in that case you need to have access to this worksheet from where you want to import the data you do not need edit access you can just have view access to import the data 
let's try that first i will try to import without sharing the google sheet with the other account so let's see here i'll create a new worksheet here and i'll write import range and the url here and the range i will not add any worksheet name since we only have one worksheet so i'll write just a1 to d10 or something you see it says you do not have permission to access the ad spreadsheet now what i'll do i'll just go to the other worksheet and i'll share it i'll just have view access send now if i refresh the google sheet here and you see now i have the allow access option allow access and you see we are seeing the same work order data here if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel thank you